The Angel Oak Tree is located in Charleston, South Carolina. The tree itself is around 400 years old, and its branches go in every which way. The tree provides shade which stretches nearly 17,200 square feet. Methuselah is one of the oldest known trees, at nearly 5,000 years old. It is located in Inyo County, in California, although its exact location remains undisclosed to protect it from destruction. It is part of a bristlecone pine grove, where another tree slightly older also lives to this day. Set atop rugged cliffs, Slope Point, at the southernmost point of New Zealand, is home to brutal, violent weather. These trees have been twisted, bent and pummeled by winds sweeping across the seas from Antarctica. General Sherman is a giant sequoia tree located Sequoia National Park, in California. It is currently the largest known living single-stem tree on Earth. Its estimated mass is 2,472,000 pounds, and is estimated to be around of 2,400 to 2,800 years old. Crooked Trees, Poland West Pomerania, one of the greenest regions of Poland, is home to the Crooked Forest, a series of 22 rows of trees, all with curved bases pointing north. The jury is still out as to whether these eerie trees naturally bend or were planted in a way to achieve this effect. One thing's for sure, either way, they look like something straight from another planet. While the pando tree may mistakenly be taken for a massive forest, it is actually a color of one single quaking aspen? It is the largest single organism and has only one underground root system. It's estimated to weigh 6 million kilograms and is nearly 80,000 years old, making it also one of the oldest known organisms. It is located in Fish Lake National Forest in Utah. These gnarled juniper trees rise out of arid landscapes in Sedona, Arizona. A strong, dry wind pushes against the tree, gradually distorting and sweeping the trunk to create this aged, twisting effect. While purple wisteria is the most common, delicate pink, blue and white blooms decorate the park too, with peak flower season from mid-April through to May. The breathtaking highlight is Great Miracle Wisteria, a huge, 140-year-old tree right at the heart of the park. There's typically a wisteria festival here in spring too. Crooked Bush, Saskatchewan, Canada. Something of a botanical mystery. This grove of crooked aspen trees is located in the Canadian province of Saskatchewan, close to the town of Hafford and around an hour from capital Saskatoon. While weird and wonderful theories as to their origins abound, most experts believe that the tree's contorted form is caused by a genetic mutation. Deep in the cloud forests of the Trans-Mexican Volcanic Belt, oyamel fir trees grow at altitudes between 8,000 and 11,000 feet. The trees, more commonly known as sacred firs, are home to colonies of monarch butterflies, which cover their trunks and branches throughout the Oyamal forest with their bright orange and black-tipped wings. Native to the Philippines, Indonesia, and Papua New Guinea, the rainbow eucalyptus tree is the only species of eucalyptus to live in rainforests. It can grow up to 250 feet tall, it's long, thin trunk streaked with red, green, purple, and orange. Japanese Maple, Portland, Oregon. The Portland Japanese Garden is often tipped as one of the most authentic Japanese gardens outside of Japan itself, and its graceful Japanese maple, located in the Strolling Pond Garden, really steals the show. It's at its most spectacular in autumn, when it comes to life in all its fiery red and orange glory. Every November this ginkgo tree growing next to the Guguanyin Buddhist temple in the Zongnan Mountains drops yellow leaves turning the temple into a yellow ocean. The rhododendron is actually no tree at all, it is a shrub. These species can grow to be shrubs to baby tree. This beautiful photo was taken of a huge rhododendron in front of someone's house in Canada. 
A dark reminder of the climate crisis, these camel thorn trees died from lack of water in Dairdvle, a white clay pan in Namibia's Namibnoklift Park, leaving their black, sun-scorched skeletons grasping their way out of the ground. L. The towering cowries of the North Island of New Zealand can grow to 150 feet 45 meters tall. They stand like ancient columns in the forest, their colossal mottled grey trunks uninterrupted by branches until they're well clear of the understory. Resin from the trees, which occasionally drops off in lumps, accreted for thousands of years, that is, until entrepreneurs discovered in the late 19th century that it was the perfect ingredient for outdoor varnish. Joshua Trees, Joshua Tree National Park, California California's Joshua Tree National Park has a lot going for it, unparalleled views of Coachella Valley, outstanding hiking trails and, of course, its namesake tree dotted across the desert floor. These curious trees are a member of the Agave family and are thought to live for around 100 years. It's the tree's spunky appearance that makes them such a source of curiosity. They exist in a flurry between the national park's rock formations and boulders, with their spindly trunks and branches and their shock of prickly spines. Species such as wood rats and desert night lizards are known to skitter around them too. The Avenue of the Baobabs is a group of big baobab trees lining a dirt road in western Madagascar. This amazing and unique landscape draws many tourists from all around the world, making the Avenue of the Baobabs one of the most popular attractions in the area and one of the most famous landmarks in Africa. The Baobabs of central southern Africa are among the blobbiest trees around, so much so, in fact, that they look like they've been flung into the earth upside down, their branches somehow too spindly for their huge girth. Their trunks are like sponges, able to expand as they take up water in the rainy season, which attracts elephants. These great creatures are known to rip parts of the tree off. In order to get a drink, baobabs are widely distributed across southern Africa, particularly in Zimbabwe and around Limpopo in South Africa. Madagascar is another baobab hot spot, particularly around Morondava with its famous. The Tabarishi tree is found in Bolivia. The meaning of Tabarishi is tree of refuge or sheltering tree. Its scientific name is Corazia speciosa and common name in Spanish is Arbol botella, bottle tree, or palo borracho, drunken tree, as they grow older their trunk becomes twisted. Dragon Trees, Tenerife. In spite of a warm and humid climate, Tenerife is a luscious and fertile island and the presence of dragon trees is testament to this. These spectacular subtropical trees can be found across the Canaries, but they've become a symbol of Tenerife. The curious trees, characterized by their tightly packed branches and thin, straight leaves, gain their name from the blood red sap that they produce. Believe it or not, dragon trees belong to the same family as asparagus and, steeped in mysticism, they're also said to be a symbol of fertility. The island's most celebrated dragon tree, known as the Millennial Dragon Tree, lies in the lush town of Ica de los Vinos in northern Tenerife. It's the largest and oldest tree of its kind, estimated to be around 1,000 years old. Dark Hedges, near Armoy, Northern Ireland. Chances are, if you're an avid Game of Thrones fan, you might recognize Northern Ireland's gothic-looking Dark Hedges, located in County Antrim. It features as the King's Road in the much-loved TV show and has been attracting devotees of the series ever since. This dramatic tunnel of more than 150 beech trees was formed in the 18th century by the Stuarts, and served as an impressive entrance to Grace Hill House, a sumptuous Georgian mansion. Today it's rumored that specters including the so-called Grey Lady haunt this eerie passage of trees.